please welcome the one and only Adam Scott. Hey, Drew. Hey. Hi. Oh my God, I'm such a fan of yours. I'm freaking out. Well, it's the same, same, same right back at you. I'm such a big fan of yours and have been my, my whole life, essentially. I read in some research, is it true that you have watched Sex in the City and Just Like That? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I watched Sex in the City when it was on originally, like we all did. And then I got COVID last February, you know, so I got COVID classic. I got the original COVID, like pre-vaccine COVID. <laughs> and was trapped in an apartment by myself in New York and just watched all of Sex in the City in like two days and hadn't seen it in 20 years or something. And it, it is incredible. It's incredible what they were doing and so far ahead of their, of their time. It's just a, it's a terrific show. Okay, so are you a Carrie, a Samantha, a Charlotte, or a Miranda? I feel like I'm a Miranda, probably. Oh my God, I've become a Miranda. You have. Not the end just like that, Miranda. Sure. But the Sex in the City, Miranda. Um, That's the Miranda I am as well, I think. Okay, perfect. I like the end yeah. just like that, Miranda. And in fact, um, Cynthia sure. Nixon came on the show to talk about it. I love, I liked end just like that because at first I was like, I want my old sex in the city. And then I was like, uh -huh. what am I talking about? We're all older and we're not the same. They're moving on. I need you too. And then I got on board. Yeah, me too. And I also felt a little protective of it and that people were really quick to, jump all over a show starring all these women in their 50s. I feel like we should applaud that and applaud them, you know, putting in these women on a show together. It's great. Okay. Now, your amazing wife, is it true that when your wife first met you, she was like, oh, no, 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 you're an actor? Yeah, I mean, it's only, she's smart, so of course she would be a little trepidatious dating an actor. And also one that kind of wasn't, like I wasn't, I didn't really have anything to show for it, really. I was just trying to jump from guest spot to guest spot and, and had a little apartment. Like, I don't know why she dated me, but um, I'm really glad she did. Did she ever say like, oh, actors are typically dot, 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 and that would be my fear? Did she give you any reasons other than just being an actor? Yeah, I think kind of, you know, full of themselves and, uh, and, full, and I think full of themselves. And I think she's right. Like, I think actors are really kind of self-involved because, but for good reason, because the thing we're doing and the thing that we're selling is us. So it's hard not to be self-involved to a certain degree as an actor, but, um, but so I was working pretty hard to show her that I wasn't uh, self-involved to prove her, prove her wrong. You know, we were, we, were shoot, we were just shooting the other night, we were shooting Party Down, and Which we were sitting so there. Which is so excited about. Yeah, yeah, You yeah, just yeah, finished yeah. shooting and Party Down is coming back, it's like. Yeah. The cult classic, everybody freaks out. This is so exciting. Okay, sorry, not to, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 not at all. We were just shooting on Saturday night. We just finished and Jennifer Garner's on the show now. And she and I were sitting there and someone's getting us coffee and asking us if we wanted a snack. And, and we just realized we're like babies. Like actors are like, like toddlers and everything <laughs> on sets at least is sort of done done for them. So it, it is ridiculous how pampered uh, uh, actors are. It, it can be true, but yeah. look at you. And, and I, I'm sure your wife is so happy that she gave you a chance and you seem like such a good person. Oh, thanks, Drew. Well, I, I'm so, so glad she, uh, she gave me a chance as well. I'm very lucky.